Hello? Is this thing on? Can anybody hear me? Man, I, I knew this motherfucker wasn't working, man. Why you send me this trash ass radio, man? I, oh. Oh shit, I'm on the air. Uh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this your boy Paperboy from Atlanta. I mean, uh, shit, wrong character. Uh, this your boy Bernie coming to you live from Big Nigga Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know y'all probably confused. You know what I'm saying? Why is it called Big Nigga Podcast? All right? I'm gonna be honest. All right? I'm a big nigga, but that's not why I call it that. I'm gonna call it Big Nigga Podcast because everything in this movie is a big nigga. I'm not gonna lie, everything. King Kong, Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla. It's this one dude with three heads. I know his neck game is crazy. But listen, man, Godzilla is on the loose. I repeat, Godzilla is on the loose. Motherfucker out here shooting up Pensacola, Florida. I don't know why they chose Pensacola because who give a fuck about that? You know what I'm saying? They could have did Miami, yeah, Daytona Beach, something, Tampa. But my, motherfucker show Pensacola. Godzilla, that's where old people retire at. I don't know what my man Godzilla got against the bariatrics. You know what I'm saying? The elderly and shit. But that's where he chose to land at. All right? And I need everybody, you know what I'm saying? Pack your shit up. Get out the house. Evacuate. Expeditiously. If you're hearing this right now, you might already be dead. I'm, I'm going to be honest. But just in case you're still here listening, I'm about to tell y'all exactly what happened when King King Kong met Godzilla in the streets. All right, so our movie starts off with Eleven from Stranger Things. I know y'all probably know her as Eleven, just like everybody else in the world, but her real name is Millie Bobby Brown. I know a lot of y'all just gasped when I said that because you instantly started thinking about Drake. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the girl that Drake was texting when she was underage. Oh my God. And would you look at that? She's on her phone right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's texting none other than Champagne Poppy. I wonder how much they had to pay Drake to make an appearance in this movie. But enough about Drake. We don't want to talk about that dirty ape. But the dirty ape that we do want to talk about is King Kong. And where is King Kong right now? Okay. Looking for, and he's in captivity. Yeah, that's right. They got my man King Kong in the Truman Show right now acting like he's actually in the wilderness. Oh, Tom, this is an illusion. This is a mirage. He's not even outside for real. I mean, he's outside, but he's also in a dome and everything is fake, but, I mean, but that's besides the point. Why they've been monitoring my man, King Kong? They've also been testing and trying to make weapons for the fight and the plight against the Kaiju, which are just the monsters in the Godzilla and King Kong verse for those of you that don't know. This is really funny because around the time that I was watching this to make notes for this video, I was watching it with my friend. And one of my homie Tari said, how come America's always making weapons? They should be making TVs or something instead. Oh, well, that's pretty funny, Tari. If you lived in a world where there were giant monsters, guys, and they were roaming the streets, shooting blast breaths and destroying homes, would you want America to be working on weapons? Or would you want a new Toshiba to come out that's in 4K resolution? I'll give you a second to think about it and comment your answer below. If you say anything other than weapons, you probably get a check on the third of the month. Now, after we see that Godzilla is running amok, the US decides to combat Godzilla. They decide to use King Kong. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, using a kaiju versus a kaiju, that makes sense. That's something that I would be totally for. So they chain up my man King Kong like Kunta Kinte on a ship and they send him out to sea. Now, let me just ask y'all a question. For those of you watching this video, do you think it was a smart idea to take King Kong out to sea? I mean, Godzilla is in the sea and he's a sea monster. So wouldn't he have an advantage against a land mammal in the sea? I don't think America thought this through. I mean, why didn't you try to bait Godzilla, coerce him to the land and then have King Kong fight him? Instead, you meet him in the middle of the ocean. I guess there's gonna be less casualties there and you can't back King Kong up with warships, but he's a sea monster and it's a monkey. What do you want him to do? They got this little girl that can do like sign language and talk to King Kong. And she's been talking to him and you know, there's subtitles between their conversation. And this man King Kong was talking heavy. I mean, he's talking about how he's about to do this man Godzilla dirty. Um, excuse me, I don't know what the fuck he just said. Can uh, someone translate that? Oh yeah, I got you. Um, He said that he's gonna take Godzilla's head rip it off of his shoulders, and he's gonna shove it up Godzilla's big fat ass. He says he knows Godzilla's ass is fat because he saw that nigga shaking it in Magic City. But Godzilla must have heard King Kong talking crazy because, oh, get ready to roll! 
Godzilla versus King Kong round one begins. As my man Godzilla straight steamrolls the goddamn ship that King Kong is on, breaks it in half, and has my man King Kong underwater like he's Scuba Steve. Uh, King Kong, I'm gonna need you to speak up, buddy. You're, you're underwater and I can't hear you. Oh, you're saying, nigga, help me. Can you get me a life preserver? Uh, does anyone have a life preserver that's the size of Rod Wave? No? no? Uh, King Kong, you're just gonna have to fight underwater, buddy. And that's what he does, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this feel like a racially motivated ass whipping, bro. This joint is crazy. This nigga must be a swarmer, though. Look at that breath consistency. He out of there like Michael Phelps right now. Bro, I mean, he do got giant ass lungs, so it kind of does make sense that he can hold his breath for a long time, but I mean, that's besides the point. So he kicks this dude Godzilla underwater, swims off, and gets on a boat. Oh, finally. I can breathe. I'm above water, above sea level. That nigga had enough. He is gasping for air, bro. He broke off his collar and started beating on his chest. He ready for this. So King Kong is looking around, looking for a land vessel that he can get on. And he spots another battleship and decides to jump on it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The buoyancy, the goddamn balance of that boat must have been crazy, bro. Because I couldn't believe my eyes. Something that is the size of Rod Wave just jumped on that boat and it did not sink, bro. That is a true battleship right there. Did this nigga King Kong just grab a jet? Bro, this dude just picked a jet up and smacked Godzilla with it. I thought that that was gonna do some serious damage, but it didn't. I'm not gonna lie. This man Godzilla rocked him back immediately. Boom! But don't worry, my man King Kong has reinforcements. Look, it's jets, and they're shooting at him. And you know, that's gotta be helpful, right? Right? It's what I would like to tell you, but it really isn't. Because this man Godzilla is goddamn invulnerable. I feel like nothing works on him. He got this dude King Kong underground, bro. Oh my God, bro. He got tight, because King Kong hit him. Shot at the boat with his blast breath. This shit starts sinking like the Titanic. You got Godzilla underwater with King Kong and he's suffocating this dude. Bro, I thought that this man King Kong was just gonna die in the water, bro. The whole time I'm just like, man, is Kong gonna die? Is he gonna get above water? And you know, finally he did and threw up the fucking water cause he was about to die. Bro, this dude King Kong looked like he was in the scene fresh out of Baywatch the way he popped up out that water, bro. You David Hasselhoff? But I ain't gonna lie, Godzilla is a real dude, bro. Because he could've easily killed King Kong here, had him at the disadvantage, had him underwater, but he decided to let Kong live because he didn't want to win in a disadvantage fight. He basically looked at him and had pity. This man King Kong was laying on his boat, fresh on his back, looking like my girl after I break her doonies down. All right, I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of crazy. Pause on that. But this dude Kong like, damn, son. But while King Kong is getting his ass whipped, Bobby and her group are on the way to some underground shit, which turns out to be some government secret facility. At the same time that they're popping up at this facility, the government done transported King Kong to the facility. It's kind of weird how they met, very coincidental, but you know, plot convenience and everything. So King Kong shows up, bro. He gets up out this net and looks around and I ain't gonna lie, I seen something in this scene that I haven't seen in eight years because of climate change, snow. I have not seen snow in so long. This joint is getting ridiculous. It is January 7th and right now it's like 48 degrees outside. I ain't gonna lie, we're in the upper northern east coast. So usually in the winter, it'd be below freezing. It'd be like at least 30, bro. It is almost 50 degrees January 7th, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we're about to be packed. But it seems like my man Kong is trying to find something. He starts running away. So they jump in this jet and they start chasing him. And right when they're about to catch up to Kong, it seems that he finds what he's looking for. This weird ass portal that transports him. And I'm not gonna lie, this has to be a huge portal, bro, because it transported a monkey that seems to be about, well, let me look that up, uh, 20 tons? This motherfucker is huge! Here we are, guys. Look at it, it's beautiful. The Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Actually, we're at Skull Island, and I'm not gonna lie, this is basically the Dark Continent. I mean, there's just a bunch of fucked up monsters everywhere, and King Kong is having a blast, bro. He's a runner, he's a track star. Bro, he is running around, he feels the air outside, the fresh breeze on his back. But monsters are attacking everywhere, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what these ugly ass things are with no arms and just tails and wings but they're fucking gross. This man King Kong grabs this shit out the air and starts slamming them around like a WWE match. This joint is out of pocket. What is this, bro? Oh my God. This mutated ass oh, alien, this looks like something that is a pre-evolution in a Pokemon game. Like it's supposed to evolve and have arms. 
fucking Dratini with Zubat wings. What the fuck is this? But like I said, bro grabs one and throws him into the other one, bro. But this shit starts smothering King Kong, bro. And the people on the jet have to intervene. They come in with the motherfucking Glock Doogie. Start shooting him like a Gallagher game. I'm not gonna lie. And King Kong starts beating the fuck out of this thing, bro. It rips his head off and drinks the liquid out of it. Like, it, it, like, like this motherfucker is... Lil Pump now, bro. He's sipping straight lean. Bro, the lean is what he leaned on, bro. This motherfucker drank out of his head, started beating on his chest, said, I'm still the king around this bitch. King Kong then realizes that he wants to travel some. I still feel like he's trying to look for something, but I don't know what. And then he encounters these weird stones and starts floating. Meanwhile, Bobby and her group are still on the ground and they find Mecha Godzilla. And you remember those ugly ass monsters I was just talking about? Well, one of them pop out, bro. Oh my God. And Mecha Godzilla punishes this shit, grabs it, and annihilates it with his blast breath. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga is cold. Keep him far away from any other kaiju. I'm not gonna hold you. It seems that he's being controlled by this Asian guy with this helmet on. Motherfucker think he Charles Xavier, bro. Got Cerebro on. Like, you feel me? But back to Kong. He's walking through this big corridor, this open cave. And it's like I said, he's finally finds what he's looking for bro he, he finds a special ass axe that's made out of these like i don't know what is that a gem a, 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 a mineral I, I don't know what it is but that shit starts glowing and charging up just like godzilla's blast breath now this dude godzilla is in hong kong and feels it way underground bro and he wants to get to it now as godzilla is up shooting the ground trying to trying to get to this thing that he's feeling they are underground trying to drill and monsters just start swarming everywhere bro look at them bro just like america trying to take advantage of some strong mineral bro trying to take and squander resources of other people and karma is a bitch now look at all of you guys getting devoured by these weird ass monsters with no arms and just wings and tails getting eaten by these gross grotesque I don't even know what these things are, bro. These things are terrible, but they are folding, y'all niggas. Kong is trying to fight them, but it's so many of them, bro. But right before things get bad and one of our main characters get eaten alive by this nasty monster that kind of looks like, uh, that kind of looks like Bruce Jenner, Godzilla shoots underground and stops it. And here we are in Hong Kong. And you best believe that we are here for round two. Let's get ready to rumble. We got Godzilla versus nigga, you's a bitch. For my battle rap fans, y'all know exactly who that's from. Comment down below if you know what battle rapper says that. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. This dude got the charge axe in hand and he is ready. He swing that bitch. <laughs> weave, weave, <laughs> miss. Bro, that joint goes straight into the building. I'm not gonna lie. Kong is boxing though. <laughs> like, yeah. He said, we on land now. Pussy ass nigga, what it do? So this dude Kong started boxing him like Mike Tyson, I'm not gonna lie. But Godzilla keeps trying to shoot back at him. But little does he know that this axe is magical. It can block his blast breath. That joint starts absorbing the radioactive waves, taking it in, making the axe stronger. But once again, he lose the axe. And this dude King Kong is running because Godzilla is trying to hit him with that guy meaner. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that's the Glock 40 with the beam. That bitch is nasty. If I was him, I would be running away from the blast breath too. I'm not trying to get hit by no shit that look like that. That shit look like a Baja blast. It can't be good for you. Bro, this dude is fighting for his life i'm not gonna lie but he finally grabs the axe and as king kong is going to swing at him the blast breath collides charging it up and <laughs> boom but who hit that nigga with that shit but it really doesn't matter because as soon as he hits him with the axe godzilla gets back up and slams his ass bro hits him with the perfect slam hits him with the kurt angle german suplex hits him with the brock lesnar f5 bro the one that broke the ring with the big show he hit, hit that nigga with the blue block and shit Boom! You know it was over because this dude Godzilla stepped on his chest and just Rawr! He said he done knocked your ass out and now he on your chest like a bitch bro. This dude Kong is done bro. He laying on the ground looking defeated. God damn I can't believe Godzilla did him like that. But that dude King Kong in a pack. A pack ski. 
That's Za. But just as I'm thinking everything is over because King Kong lost, Mecha Godzilla wakes up from a long awaited nap. I'm not gonna lie, bro, he was hibernating, but he up now. But just like America, they fuck up everything and they lose control of Mecha Godzilla. The Asian is incapacitated, he is gone. Somebody pray for Jackie Chan. All right, that was crazy. I shouldn't have said that, but they, whatever, we're moving on. This dude, Mecha Godzilla, is in control. I'm pretty sure that Ghidorah takes control of him because they were using Ghidorah's head, I think, to power it. <sighs> Could be wrong. It might be a different kaiju, but I know it's some monster that takes control of it, bro. And this dude is hopping out the building. He wants smoke with Godzilla, and Godzilla wants smoke too. Because he tackled him like a goddamn NFL game. I'm not going to lie. But this dude, Mecha Godzilla, boosts to the right <clears throat> and rocks his ass. Bro, this joint is getting serious. This is a goddamn DBZ game because they just started blast breathing it and ended up colliding. You know my man Godzilla lost that shit though, got hit with that blast breath straight to the face. And Mecha Godzilla did not brush his teeth this morning. So King Kong is over there dying and shit and they gotta bring him back to life. And they do end up resuscitating him, but they gotta convince him to help Godzilla now. The entire time they're trying to convince King Kong, in the background, you see Mecha Godzilla putting the beats on this dude Godzilla. He's literally punishing him in the background while they're trying to convince King Kong to help. Uh, can you use sign language and tell him that Godzilla really needs help? He's getting his ass beat right now? Okay, I can try, but I don't know if he's gonna listen to me. But why do you sound like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> What the fuck? So Shorty does the sign language and this dude King Kong is apprehensive, but he decides that he's gonna help and thankfully he did because Godzilla was about to get punished. He had Godzilla's face and his hands about to blow his fucking brains into smithereens, bro. But Kong gets up, puts his arm back in place and one of the coldest scenes I've ever seen. This motherfucker used a building to put his shoulder back in place and he jumps on Mecha Godzilla's back and oh yeah, it's about to get real. And he rocked his ass. But I'm not gonna lie, they told this dude Mecha Godzilla to fight back. They put him in a JJK anime, bro. This jumping was serious. This is a whole violation right here. I can't believe that they was beating his ass like this. But I ain't gonna lie though, to get jumped by two kaijus as powerful as Godzilla and King Kong, Mecha Godzilla was still kind of holding his own. I'm not gonna lie. He thrusted and kneed this dude Godzilla like he's John Jones. Godzilla, how does that knee feel? <laughs> He said, this nigga Anderson Silva. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. This dude Kong went and got the ax. He said, fuck that, I need help, bro. But it's still bad. If the people back in Bobby's group didn't pour a drink on this console to make Mecha Godzilla lag, it might have been up and stuck for both of them. But as soon as this dude starts stuttering like a cyberpunk release, King Kong gets the swing of that ax, bro. Godzilla boosted up with his breath and he cuts Mecha Godzilla in half and then cuts his head off and grabs it, screaming to the clouds, bro. You knew that shit was serious. I can't believe he did that guy. Damn, he grabbed that joint and screamed up to the clouds like, y'all know what the fuck it is, nigga. Bro, it's Denzel and training day. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Is how I feel Godzilla felt because after this happened, this dude Godzilla made King Kong submit to him. Bro put the ax down and was like, I don't want no smoke, nigga. You already folded me twice in this movie. A third time is outrageous. But now Godzilla sees my man King Kong as an ally and decides to leave. He then retreats back to the water, something that dirty niggas don't know anything about. And that ends our movie. But there's a lot more Godzilla and King Kong movies out there, so I know y'all are gonna want me to talk about them. And if y'all get this to at least 7,000 likes, I'll do that. Make sure you comment down below and tell me what type of kaiju content you wanna see. Peace.